Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I like when people come and tell you straight, you know, I'm going to punch you in the face. Okay, man, thank you very much. Instead of saying, no, I'm actually your defender, your best friend, and then they hurt you. And then they want you to continue to say that they're your best friend and they are your defenders and they are, the, they are your protectors and so on. In this case, we have this weasel. His name is Mitch. McConnell, that's minority leader in the Senate of the Republican Party, which is the same as the Democrats, just have uh, a different uh, fa facial features. They're fed by the same parents, so the interest is the same. So he's going to come forward and going to tell us how things really are in Ukraine and how the U.S. economy, how we, supposedly we, we are building our um, uh, base, our economic base right here, based on that uh, war in Ukraine. So that mean uh, he's telling us without much uh, empathy, I would say zero. He's gonna mention, oh, it's wrong about that, or we don't like that. But the idea is how U.S. I would say profits out of that war. So why would it stop? No interest. So let me show you this video. It is from it is from Face the Nation, and here is the weasel. It's going to be about uh, maybe two minutes, the whole thing. Let's see. We have big power competition from China, competition. From Russia, and we still have terrorism problems as the Israelis have certainly experienced in a brutal way in the last. Week. Mm -hmm. So I think it requires a worldwide approach rather than trying to take parts of it out. It's all connected. The Chinese and the Russians said they're now friends forever. Iranian drones are being used in Ukraine. And Why are they friends forever now, Mitch? Is because uh, your threat to them by your actions around the globe? No, he just picks it from the middle of the issue and says they're friends together because why? Because they're bad. So simple. The Israelis. There's resistance among some Republicans, including here in the Senate, about bundling things together. Is it possible to pass Ukraine aid if it's not tied to Israel? I just think that's a mistake. I, I, I mean, I know there are some Republicans in the Senate and maybe more in the House that mm -hmm. think U Ukraine is somehow different. I view it as all interconnected. And you've said that you believe there is enough oversight of aid to Ukraine. Why hasn't that persuaded some members of the U of the Republican caucus? If you look at the Ukraine assistance, let's let's talk about where the money is really going. A significant portion of it's being spent in the United States in 38 different states replacing the weapons that we sent to Ukraine with more modern weapons. So we're rebuilding our industrial base. That's what President Biden's seeking to do. It's, it's correct. No Americans are... That's exactly what I said from the very beginning of this war. And that happens the same in Europe. Those guys get rid of the old weapons, buy the new weapons from them, uh, US manufact our manufacturing companies. And who profits? Because those guys are going to get loans and Ukraine are going to get money from where? From us. I've been saying this for a year and a half. And uh, this guy comes and says, yeah, that's the way it is. And he says it as a positive thing. Like, hey, see how we're profiting out of this? Why would we want to stop? Killed in Ukraine. We're re rebuilding our industrial base. Uh, the Ukrainians are destroying the army of one of our biggest rivals. I have a hard time finding anything wrong with that. Mm -hmm. I have a hard time finding anything wrong with that. How about uh, hundreds of thousands of people dying for you are building the industrial bases of this country? I would probably benefit out of that a little bit because otherwise these guys, these guys don't produce anything here. Produce only weapons. So I have no problem with that, he says. Of course, how about the human lives? And he's going to mention that in passing. So again, all these things I've been saying, like others, they're just... And the Russians, when they say the goal is to destroy us, here you have this guy. Now, if this guy would be just, let's say, for 
the United States of America. I'll be all for that to say, yeah, man, we're going to try to destroy those guys. We're going to try to get their resources. We're going to try to eliminate the competition. And we're going to be the dictator of this planet. And everybody who's crossing us, smack. Okay? We all know that's the thought. That's the goal. But don't come and say, oh, for freedom, defend Ukrainians, democracy, help the human rights, the evil, the... That is garbage. This is garbage. It works for them. But it's garbage. So he's coming and saying, look at his eyes. This guy is not there yet. Remember, this guy was like, look, he's, he's not normal. He's not normal. I don't know how many takes these guys needed for this. Uh, and, I, and I still have about uh, 20 more seconds on, on this video. But I don't know how many takes they have to, because this guy was like, uh, like that all the time. Look, we'll just watch his face, okay? Let's see. Let's go further. It's wonderful that they're defending themselves and also the notion that the Europeans they're defending. are not doing enough finding anything wrong with that mm -hmm. i think it's wonderful that they're defending themselves and also the notion that the europeans are not doing enough. he said wonderful that they're defending themselves i don't think that's what he meant you have meant you have to read through that and say wonderful that they're doing that so we can benefit that's a translation wonderful that they're defending themselves and somehow coincidentally that helps us a lot, us being the donors in the military industrial complex. Up. They've done almost $90 billion. They're housing a bunch of refugees who escaped. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the, our NATO allies in Europe Look at his have eyes. done quite a lot. You sound like you have a lot in common with President Biden and his worldview, based on what you just laid out. Well, not on the domestic side, but on, on this issue that we... Of course they got. Why? Because the same parents are feeding both of them, Republicans and Democrats. So yes, he has a lot in common. These guys are in charge of us. In charge of us for other interests, not for our interests, my friends. So I'm glad he's telling this kind of things. I don't know how many people will get it and will look at things and try to look through this guy. But he's saying it. It's wonderful. They're defending themselves. Damn. And uh, you can uh, look back at the video uh, and see his, his, not, his behavior is not there. He's facial. He, he's, he gets lost from time to time. Um, how should I put it? I don't know. Uh, maybe if you remember, you have a satellite uh, antenna and then you don't have a good signal. And from time to time you see it and then pop it dies or freezes and then again it keeps going and it freezes keeps going this the way this guy is like the signal the the little connection certain connections over there in the brain he's he's not there uh don't they they fail so when they fail he's and then he it comes back and then that's how I see this guy. He's from time to time, he, he catches up. He's like, oh, okay. Uh, it's not an, a, uh, how should it be, a round, uh, round functioning engine with a cycle. No, he's like, it's like you push on the accelerator. And then you go with the momentum and then. That's how this guy functions. On, on. On and off. On, he's not on all the time. Nevertheless, he's a senator and he would not go home to a nursing home. Stay home. There is an old guy. He makes laws for us. It's very important. So as you can see how much uh, we profit out of it and it's wonderful. That's the world. Word. Well, these are the, the uh, uh, empathetic people in charge of us, supposedly. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.